You're listening to Mentoring Developers. I want to know, you changed a few companies. Every time you got a new job, did you negotiate the salary and benefits? Were you Are you like a hard negotiator or do you just, you know, take what they give you and if you don't like it, you move on, but... I want to know if you if you think that negotiation works or not. Depending on the position that you're in, at first I wasn't able to negotiate much because you know, I was kind of like experimenting and seeing. So it's kind of took what came over. But for my current position, we did have some like rounds of negotiating. I'm very happy with the results of that. So it, it really really depends on the stage that you're in. Also depends on the confidence that you have and your ability to get another job if. If this yeah. negotiation, if it falls apart, you'll have something else. It's self-belief. I want to know how long did that negotiation take place? Because I think that's something that a lot of people just don't know. They don't know if, if they ever negotiate. Is it something they say, okay, well, I'll let you know tomorrow and within a day? Because, you know, the recruiters are going to are going to push your buttons. They're going to ask you to yeah. give me an answer right now. Oh, If this offer goes away at midnight tomorrow or something like that. But I think in reality, negotiations can go on for days, sometimes weeks. But I want to know from your experience, how long do you think negotiation can reasonably go? Oh, I usually, well, all the jobs that I've had, I talked directly with the CEO. So the negotiations were just a few minutes. Like I will say, I'm looking for this much money. And they will say, um, we're offering this and we'll try to reach an agreement. If no agreement was possible, then I wouldn't bother. But sometimes they will be like, can't give you that much money, but I will let you work from home. So, or sometimes they'll be like, no, we can give you that much money, but you, you know, you'll get all the other benefits like healthcare and whatever. So this is not always about the money. Sometimes people have other priorities. I, the company I'm working for, I work remote. I've been working for it for two years and I'm pretty happy there. And it's great to, um, you know, like kind of like manage my own schedule and everything. It's, it's a lot better than having had gotten a little more money. Yeah, especially in yeah. startups where they're cash starved. A lot of times they don't have the leeway to give you more money, but they could give you maybe other benefits like working from home, maybe take extra days off. You know, if they're giving you two weeks off, you say, well, if you can't give me more money, I, I would like to have four weeks off. And they might be able to offer you that because at least they're not spending the money. But in the end, you still benefit because you can use that time to work something on the side, make some extra money, or you can go on a vacation. Either way, you're, you're yeah. going to be better off if you try to negotiate. So, well, it's my advice to people. Even if you think they're not going to budge, it doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, and even if you don't really have the confidence, it's really good to try anyway. Like, mm, I don't know, some people I've talked to and they're like, oh, I'm afraid that if I try, they're going to say no. But, you know, it's, I mean, just try. There's no reason why not. Right. Thank you so much for listening. For show notes and transcripts, visit us at mentoringdevelopers.com.